Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and in this video I'm going to introduce you to my new cowl, my new um, baby blanket crochet along, which I've literally just finished and going to show you. Um, I haven't had time to get it all straightened out or anything yet, but this is it. As um, you may know, if you're familiar with my channel, we have a new grandbaby on the way and just found out that it is a little girl. So I decided to make this blanket, <coughs> excuse me, get a little dry. Now I made uh, what I like to call a twisted granny, but it's um, a mosaic granny square blanket before, well I'm halfway through one. And these are the squares, they are quite small. And I've done a tutorial for that already, but these are different and I've made them larger. So this is how big they are. And so I've got three squares wide and four squares in length. And the colors are ivory, light pink, dark pink. But obviously if you want to make it for um, a boy or you can use any color scheme you want. If you want to make it for an adult, you can. So you just adjust it accordingly and that's, you saw how big it is. It would fit a cot size really. So, which is a good thing because as the baby grows, you can still use it. So I'm gonna tell you roughly how much yarn I used. So I have used some inexpensive yarns, which I've just done a review for, for um, Pound Stretcher yarn and B&M. Now these two I got from Pound Stretcher. They are ivory and light pink. They are part of their Yarn Fair Tootsie um, range. Lovely, lovely colors, lovely and soft. They don't display any kind of yardage, unfortunately. That is the one drawback to them. So um, I thought they did actually. I thought I remember seeing it. Let me just see if I can have one quick look because sometimes they do and sometimes they don't and I can't remember if this was a do or a don't. Looking on this yarn band, um, it's not looking like there's any kind of yardage. Sorry if I look a bit ghostly. Um, anyway, they're 50 gram balls and they are three weight DK yarns and they are lovely and soft. I used... Let's just get rid of that. I used five of the ivory, but I did have this much left of a skein. And I used two of these 100 gram balls of darker pink, which I got from B&M. And again, I have a review on this yarn. Now these do have the yardage. It's 300 meters in this, but this is the second skein that I use. So as you can see, didn't use a lot of it. So it was just over the 100 grams. So just over 300 meters really. So it's worth having too much just to make sure that you've got enough. So these are the three colors that I've chosen, but you can, as I said, make any color scheme that you want. I wanted ivory rather than white on this one because I just love this ivory and I, and I do think it white can sometimes be a little bright a little harsh but it's a lovely bright creamy ivory color i think it's called baby cream and this one is called baby pink very imaginatively titled i know so that's um what i've used anyway as i said it is f oh, dropped it on the floor so five of the ivory one of the light pink and two of the dark pink but the dark pink is the 100 gram ball so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop up um m the crochet along very very quickly so this is part one part two will be up tomorrow part three the next day part four the day after part four is the border so um it's all done already and I'm just going to put them up in rapid fire. There will also be a left-handed version and there'll be links from one to the other. So if you find yourself going into the left-handed and you need the right-handed, as soon as it starts, there'll be a link. Click here for the right-handed tutorial. 
and vice versa. So I'll also put at the end of this video a link to those um, yarn reviews if you haven't seen them already for this one and oopsie this one um, just in case you can get hold of those yourself and you want to try them out so I hope you have fun making it it's actually works up very very quickly and um, it's I've enjoyed making it in fact I've made it over a space of two days um, I haven't done it solidly but um, the, the, the most sort of time consuming part of it was uh, sewing in the ends and sewing the squares together. So I chose to sew them, but the, the joining does give you an alternative method as well. So watch out for that. So I hope you enjoy it anyway, as I said. And um, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, set that to all and you'll be informed when those videos pop up. There's lots of other tutorials already on my channel. Every tutorial has a right and a left-handed version, um, with the exception of maybe one more blanket, which I have to do, um, and that will be coming up soon, which is a mile a minute one. Um, so every time if you see a left-handed tutorial that you like, there is already a right-handed one on there. If they're new tutorials like this one, they'll have both coming up. So they'll be in individual playlists, and um, but you can go from one to the other quite easily if you happen to be in the wrong one. So don't worry about that. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I need to tell you other than thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.